हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू नोजत मैम की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट एंड डिलीट ए फाइल और ए डायरेक्टरी लेट अस नाउ सी हाउ टू परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन लाइक कॉपी मूव एंड असाइन परमिशन ऑन देम एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व आवर टेक्स्टुअल एक्सरसाइज हियर आवर फर्स्ट कमांड इज कॉपी ए फाइल द सीपी कमांड इज यूज्ड टू कॉपी ए फाइल और डायरेक्टरी दैट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ फाइल स्पेसिफाइड एज एन आर्गुमेंट टू इट The CP command need at least two argument. The first argument refer to a source file, while the second argument refer to a destination file. Here I will show you how to use the CP command in our terminal. Here I will open the terminal, and the shortcut key to open the terminal is Control Alt. As I told you earlier, that the CP command need at least two argument. First argument, which file we need to take as input. So here I will take this file one that is on desktop. First of all, I will change the current working directory to desktop. So here I will write cd space desktop. Enter. Now I will use the cp command cp space and here you have to write your file name that is file one and then you have to write the new file name that you want to copy or contain in that file. You have to write the destination file here. Right now I will give the name as new file one. So here you can see this file. This new underscore file is an exact replica of file one. Here I will show the container of both the file. Cat space file one. So this is the container of file one and cat space new underscore file one. And new underscore file one is an replica of file one. Here you have to remember few point like if a file with the name new underscore file one already exists, it will simply be overwritten without any warning from the system. In case no such file exists, then new file will be created first, and then the container of the file one will be copied in it. Here we can copy more than one file also into a specific directory. So I will write that command: cp file one space new underscore file one, and I want to copy it in my directory name mydir. So here I will write my directory name. Here I will show it. Yes, I am getting both the file here, and it is necessary that the directory mydir already exists, or else you may get an error. Now here we will try to solve all this exercise one by one. We have sign dot txt file inside this root directory, volume directory, and then sub directory. It is like that only. Here I have one directory on desktop. I will show it. Here I have example directory. Inside this example directory, I have tutorial directory, and inside this tutorial directory, I have sign txt. I want to copy this sign txt in my current working directory that is on desktop. So what command I will write here? I will show you. Already we are on desktop, so I will start from here. So I will write cp space volume slash example slash tutorial, and then my file name sign. dot txt you have to leave one space and then you have to write dot and this dot at the end refer to the current directory now press enter here we will check it out you can see this sign dot txt on desktop you can use ls command also to see the listing of files and directory yes you are getting sign dot txt next command is now i want to copy this file into a directory so you can see here already i have created this file and i have directory also just i have to write the cp command here Chapter zero one, and then my directory name as my program. Here I will check it out. Yes, I am getting it. Now I want to copy this file chapter zero one into a directory my program, but with different name. Right now I want to give the name as unit one to chapter zero one. I will show you what command we have to write. Cp chapter zero one. Here I will write my directory name that is my program and then slash you have to put and then you have to write your file name that you want to give that is unit one. Remember, no such directory with unit one should exist otherwise you may not able to do it properly. Here I will check it out. Yes, I am getting it. Here I want to copy my program directory into new program directory. So I have to use hyphen r to copy the directory along with all its contain. Here I will show you cp 
space hyphen r and then my directory name that is my program and then new directory that is new programs yes i'm getting it here now here we will move to our next topic rename file or moving a file here we will use mv command only to rename a file or to move a file the mv command is used for renaming a file or directory for example here i will rename this file new underscore file 1 to file 2 mv new underscore file 1 here i will give the new name as file 2 so here you can say yes mv command will not occupy additional space it will just rename it here we can use mv command to move a file or a group of files to a different directory here i will move sign.txt in my program directory so i will write mv sign.txt and then my directory name now it is inside this directory yes I can move multiple files also as I did for single file. Just I have to write more argument to it. Suppose I want to move file 1 as well as file 2 in my program. So I will write that argument file 1, file 2 and then my program. See we are getting it file 1 and file 2. Now I want to rename this directory my program to say all program. So here I will write mv my program and then your directory name enter this one fine next command is wc command or you can say word count command it is used to count the number of lines word and character in each input specified file so here i will write wc and then i will write my file name here i will take this file chapter 01 and press enter here i will show you open this file now try to understand this thing here one indicate number of line in this file we have only one line here and this four indicate number of word here count it we have four word right and then this 24 indicate number of character in this file fine here i will copy this contain and will paste it here save it and again i will run this command now i have three line 12 word and 72 character fine we can use the wc command along with various options to get a specific line word or character if i will write like this wc space hyphen l and then my file name here i will just get number of line and then wc space w now you can predict w is used to know number of word here and then my file name and lastly wc space hyphen c for character yes we have done this thing wc space hyphen l hyphen w hyphen c and then chapter 01 this first command both are same here now here we will see the most important topic in ubuntu that is file permission Many students get confused here, so you have to pay attention here what I'm explaining. Here to know the file permission, first you have to type ls space hyphen l. Here first I will clear the screen and then I will write ls space hyphen l. It will show the long listing of files and directory. Here you can see the owner of the object and then you can see the size of the object, date and time on which the object was created along with the name of the object try to understand this thing the first column refer to the type of object an object can be categorized as regular file with hyphen a directory with d symbol and a process with p symbol the file which we are executing it that is process the set of three character after the file name shown in column two to four tell the owner of the file the owner of the file is the user who create the file by default a user who created a file become its owner the character in column 5 to 7 denote the permission given to the group. A group can contain multiple users. All the users belong to group will have same access of permission to the file. So here you can add many users to a group and assign the common group permission to a file. Similarly, the column 8 to 10 indicate the permission given to any other user. Here, any other user of the system neither belong to owner who created the file nor to the user group who own the file. Everybody else in the world who access the file is other. Now here we will try to understand this 9 character that is permission given to object. Every file object in Linux has three permissions, namely R, that stands for read permission, W for write permission, and X for execute permission. For all the three users, that is owner, group, and others, the character R in the first position means you are permitted to read the file, 
and W in the second position means you may write in the file. This write permission allow you to modify the content of the file. Write permission also include the ability to delete a file. And X in the third position means you may execute that file. That file extension is .exe file. And if you have permission to that .exe file, then you can execute it. If I will consider RWX, this means that in this file, owner have read and write permission, but owner does not have execute permission. And hyphen in any position means that you don't have a particular permission. To change the permission, we can use the ch mode command. Ch mode stands for change mode. Ch mode command is used to set permission that is read, write, and execute on a file or directory for the owner, groups, and other. There are two ways to use the ch mode command. First one is to use numeric value and the second one to use symbolic value. In numeric value, the file system is not represented as character but three digit octal number system. The given table show the every octal digit combining read, write and execute permission together. For example, number zero tell no permission is given here. So all the three hyphen are here. As you can see here, number one is for execute. So here we will write hyphen hyphen x. In the same way, number two for write, so hyphen w hyphen. And for number three, that is a combination of number two and one. That is write and execute. So in place of read, I will write hyphen and then w and x. In the same way, you have to do for the remaining. Maximum number can be seven. It means we have given all the permission to the user. Here we will try to do this thing practically. Here I will write ch mode and then I will write 644 and then my file name that is chapter 01. Here again I will type ls space hyphen l to see the changes done in permission. See the changes here in chapter 01 we were having 6, 6 and 4. Right now we have 644. I will explain you here what it means. See here, in permission 644, 6 refer to the rights of owner, 4 refer to the rights of the group, and the last 4 refer to the rights of other. And the number 6 is interpreted as read and write here, and number 4 is interpreted as read only, that we have given to group and other. Here we will take one more example. In the permission 764, number 7, we have given to the owner with all the 3 permissions, read, write and execute. Number 6 for group that refer to read and write permission only and lastly number 4 with read permission only. I hope this much is clear to you. Now here we will see another way in ch mode command. Till now we got familiar with changing permission for all the 3 user. But using this mode we can modify the permission of a specific user as well. Here we will use the add sign to assign permission to give permission to a file or directory and minus sign to take back to revoke to remove the permission and equal to sign to set the permission. And the various owner are represented using UGO. U in CH mode command stand for user that is owner. G stand for group and O stand for others. Let us try to understand with an example. Here I write ch mode and then ugo that is user group and other minus w remove the write permission from all the user and then i will write my file name again write ls hyphen l so you can see here so all the user don't have that write permission right now here i will write ch mode u plus suppose i want to give read as well as execute permission so here i have to write wx and then your file name Again ls, yes, see here, I have given both the permission to the user. Fine, I hope this much is clear to you. Now here we will solve textual exercise. The first question is, which command is used to count the total number of lines, word and character? Today itself we did it, that is wc word count. Then, which of the following command is used to remove a file? And the correct answer is rm. Which of the following command is used to remove the directory? That is rmdir. Which of the following command is used to count just the number of line contained in a file? The number of line we can get it from wc space hyphen l. The command ch mode 761 letter is equivalent to what? So here ch mode u is equal to 7 that is user. Owner is 7, group is 6 and other is 1. So both are same only. So option A is the correct answer here. Which of the following refer to the maximum length of a file name in Linux that is 255? Series of directory branching in a user system start from which of the following directory that is forward slash and root. 
Which of the following command is used to copy a file? That is cp command. Which of the following command is used to display the current working directory? That is pwd, present working directory. Which of the following command is used for searching a pattern in a file? Correct answer is grep. That is not in your syllabus for the academic year 2020-21. Which of the following is not a redirection symbol? Answer C is an wildcard character. It is not a redirection symbol. So you have to read the question properly. They are asking for not a redirection symbol. So the correct answer is C. Which of the following syntax is correct to assign a read permission on a user file? So read permission is indicated by R and user is indicated by U. Correct answer is U plus R. Which of the following refer to the minimum argument of cp command that is to source file and destination file. The mv command in Linux is used for which of the following purpose. mv command in Linux is used to move one or more files or directory from one place to another. If both the argument are file name then it simply rename it. Otherwise the file contained is copied to the new location and the old file will be removed. So all of this. Which of the following command is used to view one page contained on the screen at a time? We have done this thing with the calendar. So the correct answer is more. So this chapter number 6 get over here. That is all for the day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned in for the next video.